Join us as we travel throughout the North Island of New Zealand. Amanda and I recently took an early retirement from the University of Otago. We chose to spend six months away on our Heimer camper, exploring different parts of the North Island. It's not the first time we've been to the North Island, but we want to explore some other places that we haven't seen, but more importantly, spend more time at each location. So we're both in cruise mode and taking you along for the ride. Welcome, you've joined us in the Bay of Plenty, making our way to Tauranga, down the east coast. This is Pilot Bay, right at the bottom of Mount Monganui. There's two things to, that we might try and do, is one walk around the base of the mount, which is 3.5k, apparently a very popular walk, and then there's hot pools. So there's the mount. What we're gonna do is, there's a loop track which stays on the level, which goes Easy. right around the outside. Amanda's going to do that one and meet me back here at the building. And I'm going to have a go at going up the hill, the hard one, the steep one, which takes you right up to the very top of the summit. I'll see how I go anyway. Okay. So we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Two or three pools for soaking in all at different temperatures, and then this lane pool for swimming. You can even check the temperatures. Once we finished, we got out and checked the Mount Monganui shops. I thought I'd lost Amanda for a minute, but I found her. She's been to the red. Salvation Army, more of a stress. Nine dollars, what a bargain. Yeah. We're off to the marina parking for the night. And we just pulled into the marina car park. It's about eight parks along here. Looks like it might do the trick. There's a few permanent campers over under the trees there. And there's the harbour. <laughs> the grass is just so green. Look at all the rain. Look at that. So we're at Sulphur Point. I'll walk over here, huh? Slip place. Here. So we had a peaceful night at the Marine Park over area. It's a freedom camping area. There's the wee sign. We've got the 
port on one side of us, a railway line running across the back and the planes are coming in and landing on the airport just across the other side of the road here. So it's pretty noisy when we first arrived and I thought how will we go last night but it cool quieting down about 10, 11 o'clock. One of the problems with the last what, 10 days we haven't had any sun and the solar panels have been struggling. We've got a percentage battery monitor. It's really good to have something going in the solar panels. We use about 20% a day, so we've had to run this generator a couple of times um, while we've been away just to get through these, this period. The generator is just a wee one, but it's enough just to pull it back up again another 20-30% after running for an hour to keep us going. We've also got an external panel that we put out on the ground, and that's uh, 200 uh, watt, 200 watt panel, and we've got 320 on the roof. So. 520 if we can get it all out there but the sun's getting a bit low now it's going into autumn so your efficiency of your panels drops off if they're on the flat Manchester's just looking up to see where we could stay tonight somewhere at Mount Monganoe a car park with 10 spaces oh okay well that would do so we've got to go and got to go and look at a tap because the old tap and the kitchen is leaking, that's all wet around there. It's actually broken in the connection in here. So um, we've got to wipe, wipe the sink up every time we use it. So we'll go to the RV super centre. One of the issues with the camper is you can't always park close to where you want to go because a lot of the parks are too small. Anyway, okay, this is the RV, Meg RV mega store down here. The tap we need is a special one that's got a micro switch in the head. It needs these two wires to connect to run the pump. Here's the old tap which I've now taken out and you'll see inside the head here there's a uh, micro switch which gets pressed when the um, tap activates. Anyway it's so nice to get rid of the old plastic job. Um, this tap's probably repairable. I've kept all the parts in the plastic bag and then it'll go into the bathroom later on because the bathroom one's also broken. And our new chrome metal taps all fitted. It should last a good amount of time. So we left Tauranga and we thought we'd keep out of the busy city. And we hadn't been to Welcome Bay, which is one of the new motorhome parks. The long plan was to head out down the uh, North Island a bit more on the east coast where the weather was better, possibly even down to Napier. But for the moment, um, we're heading the Rotorua direction with a stop off at the motorhome park. It's only a 30 minute drive to Welcome Bay. So we went there and found that it was but quite boggy. After backing up onto the driest part we could find a park, the weather started to get worse that evening. We were a little concerned as there was a stream behind us, but it didn't seem to be coming up what very high. It was raining cats and dogs outside. We put and... our feet up and lit. No, we sit here and laugh. Ah. Look at that, and it's dark, it's five o'clock at night and it's dark. It is pissing down. Thankfully the next day wasn't so bad. We decided to get on the road, so it's goodbye to Welcome Bay as we head off to Rotorua. Street at Tapuki. We've um, stopped at a charity shop on the way in. Got some lovely apricot tamarillo jam. It's 55 k through from Tapuki through to Rotorua. One road. So we've just been to the supermarket. We're at um, Rotorua. Now you might be asking what I'm doing with the fluffy dog here. When I turn the lights on, there's no uh, beeper to warn you to uh, turn the lights back off again. So I drop this on the floor between the two seats so that I step over it and it reminds me to turn the lights and, back um, off. So we won't really stop at Rotorua because it's raining pretty horrible. I think we'll come back in here um, later on, have a look around. We're gonna go out to the um, holiday park that we've booked into for a couple of nights. Oh, that. 
that is a lot DK. Quite cold. cold. Yeah. Where's I? Right here. Camping ground was the ideal opportunity to charge up our batteries, do some washing. Got to use the key here to get out. These uh, keys to get out are designed for cars. found a spot to have a coffee while it was still raining, but later on that afternoon the sun came out for a wander through town. Are you there, Dad? Yep, I'm just here on the street. We've got a bake shop, Thai restaurant, Nando's, Fortune Chinese restaurant, lovely India. It's all sort of the eating places. Each street was open for Christmas in 2012. It cost 2.7 million. While there was some opposition to the idea, Finally, the architects submitted plans and it was put together and opened officially in 2013. Eatery and food bar. Yeah, it's just like an outdoor mall. The uh, roof has got vents on the side of it. Some of these are closed down, but others do stay, so fair enough. I would I'd imagine it gets busy during the um, weekends, Saturday night. We've got happy hour until 6pm, what's that one? Cocktail library. Asian. Look at that, the sun's out and we're about to head off again. Taking to Blue Lakes, Lake Tararua for a bit of a, a drive. So we're at Rotorua Holiday Family Park, which is about five or six k's out of town. It's part of the Motorhome Association Camp Saver that they offer deals in the winter. So we've paid $30 a night for two on a powered site and done all our charging, um, done all our washing and just generally caught up for a couple of nights. Yeah. In 1886, Mount Tarawea erupted, covering the pink and white terraces. And just a few hours after the volcanic eruption, uh, the pink and white terraces, Maori villages and campsites were covered in a, in, within a metre of volcanic dust, and the local village was almost completely destroyed. They think that the death toll exceeded 100 at the time. So we're just driving down now from the lookout, where we're going to go to the coffee shop. This is Lake Tarawea. As it's Mother's Day, we're going to stop off at the cafe here. Yeah, this is all new since we've been here. They've built new wharf and a whole big complex here, so I think I'm about to have a milkshake. Now, Amanda and I reckon this is the ultimate coffee shop stop. So, Amanda got a milkshake and we just sat back and uh, people watched. Somebody had been trout fishing, caught themselves a good sized fish. Thank you so much for watching. 
next episode we go to Lake Okarika and stay at the local dock camp. Then back into Rotorua to stay at a Freedom car parking spot where we take the bikes and explore some more. Then we're off down to Napier to have a look around the city and stay at Clifton and Clyde.